Hello my dear student. Today we will talk about round decimals. What do we mean about round? Round it means when I give you a number and I, I will ask you this number is close to be what? So for example number 9. If I ask you number 9 is close to be 10 or close to be 0? It's close to be 10. So when we make round I, I will ask you or I want from you to tell me this number is close to be number what okay okay my dear so for example if we have a number like that let me write it for you If we have number like this, okay, in the middle we will see that we have point. This point is called decimal point. After the point, after the point, the first digit is called ones, the second one is called tens. So when we see the decimal point, the first number after after the point is called ones, the second is called tens. But what about before the decimal point? Before the digit that before the decimal point is called 10. Okay. So you need to know the name of each place because if you don't know it, you cannot solve any question of our lesson today. So this is so important. Okay. You got it? Sure. Let's see the next. First of all, we have something called four numbers. We have four numbers. It's four, so it's sad. So the poor number has a sad face. What is the poor number? It's zero, one, two, three, four. What's the poor number? It's zero, one, two, three, four. You should know that. Poor number, it's poor number, so of course it will give nothing. So poor numbers give nothing. And we have rich number. We have what? Rich number. It's rich, so it's happy. Can you see? It has smile face. What's the rich number? It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's the rich number? five six seven eight nine and because it's rich it get one so we have poor numbers and rich number poor numbers give nothing and what's the poor number it's zero one two three four what's the poor number zero one two three four and we have rich number it's rich so it's happy and what's the reach number? It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Don't forget that it's so important. So I need from you to, to know two information. First of all, I need from you to know the name of each place of uh, of each digit. So we need to know the name uh, of each number. Um. So you need to know it's ones, tens, tenths, whatever. And I want for you to know the poor numbers and rich number. Poor number give nothing, rich number give one. Okay? Are you ready to start our lesson today? Let's start. The first question we have today, he want for me to round to the nearest whole number. Okay, miss, we don't understand what we mean about whole number. Whole number, it's mean to the nearest ones number it's mean to the nearest ones okay so when we want to round any number we need to make two steps when we want to round any number we need to make two steps what is the two steps the first the first one underline what he asked so for example here he asked about whole number so we will under the whole number the whole number it's mean once so we will under the ones What's the second step? Look before. So, when we want to make round for any number, we will do two steps. The first one, underline what he asked. 
the second one look the number before so let's let's have a try to the nearest whole number the mean to the nearest one so let's underline ones then look the number before okay the number before here is four it's four and four is poor number poor number mm, yeah poor number get nothing so the nine will still the same and any number focus on that any number before the underline will be zero any number miss any number even then it's more than one digit yeah any digit any number before the underline will be zero just it's like it's not here okay so that will be 9.00 but can we write 9.00 no and that equal 9 so 9.47 when we want to make a round to the nearest whole number that will equal 9 okay let's see the next number here it's 1.1 we want to make a round to the nearest whole number we have two steps first one hmm i need one of you to tell me yeah first one underline what he asked second one look the number before so let's underline whole number look the number before the number before here is one and one is rich or poor 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 number super poor number gave nothing so that will be one so 1.1 when we want to make a round to the nearest whole number that will equal one great well let's make a deal together i will answer question number three then you will answer question number four okay it's competition between me and you so uh if i answer number three in correct way and you answer number four in wrong way i will be the winner <laughs> but if you answer number four in correct way mm, both of us will be the winner okay so you will win and i will win deal good deal right let's start so miss here we have two digits we have ones and tens what should we do good question so like i said before we will underline what he asked then we will look the number before and i said that any number before the underline will be zeros right yeah but what about if we have some digit after the underline so when we have digit after the underline will it still the same miss we were right it yeah you were right it deal okay that's good so let's look here underline once look the number before the number before is seven and seven is yeah great i can hear you seven it's reach number which number give one right great so i will give the nine one and when you give nine one it will be what it will be ten but can we write ten in one place so the ten is two digit maybe uh it's like two person and we have only one chair can we can we put the two person in the same chair no so what should we do we will write zero miss it's 10 it's not zero yeah we will carry up the one get it so why we did that because when we give the nine one it will be 10 we cannot write 10 in one place so we will write zero carry up one one plus one two so 19.71 when we make a round to the nearest 10 to the nearest whole number that will be 20 got it great now my dear stop the video try to solve number four alone then play the video again compare your answer with mine but before you do that i'm sure your answer will be correct okay my dear i'm waiting for you okay are you ready okay tell me what should i do here 
correct i will underline three and look before we have five five it's for each number so it will get three one it will be changed to be four and any number after the underline will be still the same so it will be 94 great my dear okay here here one from you round to the nearest tenth round to the nearest tenth miss what's the difference between this question and the other question we will do the same steps the only difference that we the the digit that we will make underline in the other one we underline once but here we will underline ten okay don't forget it's end with th that's mean the digit that before the uh, before the decimal point let's see the first one let's underline 10 it will be 2 look the number before the number before here is 4 and four, can you tell me 4 it's poor reach it's poor so the 2 will still the same and any number after the underline we will write it again so the answer will be 7.2 now I want for me to answer the second one come on answer then tell me your answer I'm waiting for you yes super we will underline 10 we will look before well the number before here is 4 and poor number yeah super poor number get nothing so the answer will be we'll write the 9 again without any different and we will write the numbers that's after so we'll put a point and guess d4 get it let's see the next one so it's 19.46 we want to make a round to the nearest 10th so let's underline 10th look before well the digit before it's rich or poor yeah super it's poor uh, sorry it's rich and rich number give one so when we give the four one it will change to be four and we will write what after so the answer will be 19.5 great my dear let's see the next one okay come on tell me the answer i will not help you here okay i guess now you're able to answer any question <laughs> that's a great so tell me what should i do here super i will underline 10 and look before well the num the digit before is reach or poor reach and reach number give one so when we give the seven one it will change to be eight and we will write that before so the answer will be 85.8 super my dear so let's solve this question together he tell you that Jason weight is 152.6 pounds what his weight to the nearest pound mess what should we do here mess he didn't tell us to the nearest tenth or to the nearest whole number of ones mm, okay I tell you a secret when he tell you to the nearest then we have a word like pound gram kilogram centimeter whatever the word that's mean to the nearest whole number okay so let's underline whole number and look before underline once and look before the digit before is rich or poor reach and reach number give one so when we so here we will give the two one that will change to be three and we will write the digit that after the underline so that will be five and one so his weight to the nearest pound it will be 153 pounds okay that's a great get it super and now habibi we finish our session i hope you understand the lesson so bye and see you next time inshallah. Bye.